Today, we're gonna talk about the top skills you need as a JavaScript developer in order to get a job. What is up, my beautiful people? This is Kazi from Clever Programmer. Let's start off with one of the best and most important skills I think you could have as a JavaScript developer today. Based on 300 job listings from top tech companies in April 2019 and also in 2020, this is gonna be true. The number one skill those people are looking for is React.js. React is a JavaScript library, so it's still JavaScript at the end of the day. But React allows you to do really amazing things with JavaScript really, really fast. Just think about like, you take JavaScript, you give it steroids, you you get React. It's basically JavaScript with superpowers. Why should you use React or who else is using React? React is being used by the top tech companies in the world. Some of those companies include Tesla, Reddit, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and PayPal, and so many other companies that are using React every single day. That's what they're actually built on. We have been live streaming every single day from the last few weeks, and we've built clones like Netflix clone we built with React. It will show you how to build it yourself. Uh, the Amazon clone we built it with React, show you how to build it on your own. A to-do list app, a Facebook Messenger clone, and we have essentially put together these tutorials and guides that you guys can go check out on our YouTube channel. At the end of the day, people don't really care about your words that much. What they wanna look at is what is your skill level and how they judge you on that is based on what you've built, the projects. So as a developer, just let the portfolio and your work speak for itself. And that's why we build those tutorials for you so you can kind of take access. It's free and you can learn it and then hopefully get a job. If you want to be able to make an income as a JavaScript developer and master the skills and you want the perfect marriage between the two, then I want you to check Check out our course, Profit with JavaScript. This course is absolutely unbelievable. We have spent so much time making the most value-packed course that we could for you. We have live coaching calls in there every single week. That level of practicality, I think, is very, very important. Now, with that said, guys, let's jump straight into the video. React has something called a virtual DOM, which essentially means that it allows you to really change things on the DOM really, really, really fast, okay? That's the most basic way to think about it. If you're on Instagram and you type in a comment, it doesn't actually refresh the entire page. What it's doing is it's only refreshing that comment. That's why it's so fast. If you guys go to a bunch of apps like Instagram, Facebook, you'll notice they don't actually refresh. Things happen in real time. When you click stuff or when you post stuff, the whole page doesn't refresh. All of that is happening because of React. React has reusable components. This is another big thing about why you should actually learn and use React. What does it mean to have reusable components? Well, in React, when you develop, you're actually building things and breaking them into separate components of their own. If you take a look at the Amazon clone that we built, all of those products that you guys see up on the screen right now, every single product is actually its own component. And then it's super easy because then you can just like write one line of code and keep reusing that component in a really nice, elegant way. Another skill that's very useful for you guys to learn is of course Node.js. Now, if you have taken any of our tutorials and you have watched any of our videos with Sunny and I, where we're teaching you Amazon, Netflix clone bills, Messenger clone bills, all of that, you'll notice that for our back end, we are actually not using Node.js. We are using Firebase. Firebase allows us to be able to do everything. Even with that said, a lot of companies are still using Node.js and they are still paying for that. So I think it's a valuable skill to learn. So I think that's one of the skills you should have in your toolbox. With that said, I think that essentially covers it for React. Skill number three is Git. Now Git is essentially version control or how I think of it is kind of like a time machine. If you make mistakes, it allows you to rewind in your app that you're making and go back. So for example, if you're adding multiple different functionality, you can think of it like in a video game where you have save and checkpoints. You can load from really any checkpoint or any save that you made. So let's say like, you build the login functionality into your app, you hit save. Then let's say you build in the functionality in your app to display products. But then imagine for some reason your login functionality broke and then like your entire app broke and you're like, what the hell just happened? Like everything was working fine and now one month into the project and everything is broke. What Git allows you to do is essentially load and you can actually just load back to when you built the login functionality and it was working perfectly and just continue from there. I think it's one really important skill. There's almost nobody doing any kind of coding or real development or a job that doesn't really know Git. Like I don't know a single person. Uh, skill number four you need to learn to get a job as a JavaScript or a React developer, Redux. 
So Redux is something that's hard to kind of grasp and understand right away. The one thing Sunny and I explained when we helped you build the Amazon clone, if I hit add to basket or add to cart button, add to cart button like maybe changes to one or it changes to two. Redux can allow you to do that without necessarily even hitting refresh. And it can actually manage the entire state without ever having to go to another page or doing any type of redirect. And so that state management is a very important skill to learn as a JavaScript or a React developer. But because Redux is hard, learn it in a two-step approach. The first step is actually learn something called context API and then go and learn Redux as step too. Uh, again, none of these skills are highly paid on their own. You kind of have to know multiple things, right? If you want to be a chef, you want to be good at cleaning. You want to be good at like actually cooking. You also want to know about spices. You can't just be like, oh, the only thing I do is like put it on the stove. Like I'm really good at like microwaving. But any type of e-commerce functionality you want to add as a React developer, you're going to need to learn Redux. Another skill that I want to kind of highlight here is you should learn TypeScript. Think about like React. It allows you to write React code, but but in a way where it is like more statically typed. What that means is you're declaring your data types as you go along. Now it might sound annoying to want to do that, but what's amazing about it is that your code becomes a lot more robust, stable, way easier to read, and you will make much less errors. On top of that, it's a skill a lot of people are looking for in a developer and they're willing to pay a much higher amount to work with somebody who understands and knows TypeScript. Learn Firebase. Firebase allows you to do everything AWS allows you to do. I've built tons of things with AWS and I've built a bunch of things with Firebase. So much easier to go with Firebase. Firebase is built by Google. Anything you can do in AWS, it's 100 times, 1,000 times easier to do it in Firebase. Definitely don't start with AWS. You're gonna get into a nightmare. With AWS, you have to like learn about how does Redshift database work? Oh, I also have to go to my security groups and like whitelist IP addresses. Oh, uh, what is EC2? Uh, what are Lambda functions? Oh, is my function located in Oregon or Ohio? You have to actually know that. Oh, like you're a developer. You don't wanna like start learning learning and becoming like an IT person, right? That's kind of annoying. So stay away from that unless you absolutely need to learn it. If you learn it with Firebase, once you learn all the skills, you can then apply it to AWS easy, no problem. It's just so amazing to be able to have a hybrid between a SQL and a NoSQL database and it scales so well. It is so lightning fast and you can build the two-way functionality of like full CRUD functionality within minutes. And it allows you to be in your code if you're coding in React or JavaScript with just a few lines of code it gives you full functionality to be able to add things to your Firebase, delete things from your Firebase without having to like write full on crazy MVC style programming, creating routes, all this crazy stuff. It allows you to do it so fast. You don't even need a backend like Node.js or anything like that to be able to interface with your Firebase app. So I would say learn Firebase. I think it's a highly valuable skill and it's only going up as time goes on. People are learning at an extremely fast rate. Learn Firebase. This list is honestly in no particular order. All of these skills are extremely valuable, but number seven is learn REST APIs. If you wanna do any type of web development, learn APIs. They are so powerful and almost every single application you're gonna to try to build or use is gonna require APIs. Either it's gonna require you to learn how to use APIs so you can pull data from it and do stuff with it, or People want you to build APIs for them. So like, hey, take my JSON file and turn it into API so I can use it from anywhere. Or take my database, turn it into an API so I can use it from cloud anywhere in the world. There's tons of functionality and use cases for how you can use APIs. Like one example I'll give you real world is like, I wanted to know how much money are we making every day in our business. So what we're doing is we're using a Selenium scraper to go to this one website, log in. And this website, by the way, does not have an API. So like, I want to get a text message like, hey, we made $1,500 today or we made $3,000 today on my phone. As a business owner, I want that. Now, as a developer, it's your job to be able to get me that information, but it's tricky. So the solution we came up with is let's use Selenium to log into the website, scrape the website and scrape yesterday's sales. So let's say yesterday's sales says 2,600, scrape it. Now, how do we send it as a text message? Here's what we do. We launch it up in the cloud. So we actually put it in a REST 
REST API, we build an API for it and we put it in the API. And then on my end, all I have to do is actually I gotta just do a get request and pull it from the cloud and using Twilio, Twilio's API, send it to myself as a text message, okay? So there are a bunch of different things happening here. We're using API to actually put it in the cloud and then we're using a get request. So we're using the API and then we're using Twilio's API to send it as a text message on my phone. Guys, that cannot happen without APIs. Good luck building something like Twilio to send text messages. Good luck building something that actually like gets you that information. So that's why when you use APIs, you're leveraging what already exists and you're building on top of it, okay? So learn APIs. They are a brilliant skill. You can leverage the power of Google search engine if you learn APIs. You can build a Python like face detection software with like six lines of code because it's using APIs and it's using something that already exists. You can get the power of Instagram, you know, like with a few lines of code because you can use their APIs. So I think you should definitely have this in your toolbox as a uh, software developer, JavaScript developer, or a web developer. So there you guys go, the top seven skills you need to become JavaScript or a React developer and get a job and actually get your dream job. If you practice and learn and through project-based learning, you can definitely learn these skills and master them, which is why we've been trying to build all these tutorials for you guys and teach you through our like Netflix clone, Amazon clone, Instagram clone, our Facebook Messenger clone, all of that to teach you all of these skills, whether it's React or Node or Git or or Redux or context APIs or REST APIs, trying to teach you all these skills so you can use them and then you can master them and you can then go ahead and make an income with them. Now guys, if you found value from this video, you're not even ready for this because what truly is going to blow your mind is like, think about this, our free content, we go so deep and we help you so much. The number one distinction between our content on YouTube and our paid programs is that we get to go deep and we get to work with you in person. It might look like a one-on-one -on -one call with you, coaching calls with you, but we're really working to create a personalized roadmap for you. It should be that something people tell us it should be worth like $10,000 like a coding bootcamp, but we have literally put it at a fraction of that price for you guys. So please, if you got value out of this, then please at the very least, just go and check it out, okay? So click that link in the description below to our Profit with JavaScript course, and we will teach you in that program, not only all of these skills, because you can learn these skills anywhere. You can learn them on Udemy, YouTube, free, like online uh, free code camp anywhere. But the most important thing we help you do is in our coaching calls, in our community, we actually teach you how to go and get an income with these skills. So literally, where do you go on Upwork to land a client for $700 this weekend? Where do you go on freelancer.com to get a job for $3,000 this upcoming month? How do you go and apply to your dream job that pays you 40, 50, $60,000 a year? All of those skills, we teach you and we actually help you implement them. That's the number one thing that our course offers that you really can't find anywhere else and just the heart and soul and energy we put into it. So I urge you that if you've been watching this for this long and you've gotten any value, please click that link in the description below to profit with JavaScript. Go check it out, jump in the program. I wanna see you on those live coaching calls. With that said guys, as always, this is Kazi. I love your face. If you've gotten value out of the video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.